Hello everybody and welcome to Empire of Sin, a new paradox strategy turn-based combat title. It's like a mixture of XCOM with Mafia, for example. So you're starting out your little gang, you're starting out your little businesses, a brewery, um, and you all have that with a story and a turn-based combat system. Uh, I'm very excited for this game, I hope you are too. This is a little sneak peek of what's to come, and if you enjoy this one, well then we make a series out of this. Let's go. First things first, what we need as well is our boss. So we need to decide between the gang bosses who we like to play as our hero. Um, and we do got a few of them. We got McKee Jackson here. We got Frank Regan. We got Mabel Riley. Um, and all these figures there as you can see. So I'm going with Alphonse Capone because I like Capone. And um, he has also a very nice uh, boss ability there. The rain of fire, so fire a stream of bullets over the highlighted area. Um, we also get an empire bonus here for the brewery. And, and I, I like to specialize in the brewery. It's prohibition time after all. And brewery production cost is minus 20%. And also the brothel and buy-ins cost is minus 20%. So that's something for my business. Let's confirm this one. Um, the only thing we need to decide now is for our new game. How many um, opponents do we want to have? And how many enemy factions we want to have? Let's just go for the maximum there and let's go. So March 17, 1920, Alphonse Capone arrives in Chicago. Evening, sir. That's right. I'm just in from Brooklyn. Give me the local lowdown. Well, if you're looking to move some hooch, you ain't the only one. A lot of two-bit gangs are looking to make their mark on the city here. They haven't met me yet. I'll give them a taste of how we do things in New York. Did you say you're from Brooklyn? Ain't been there in years. How's she holding up? Eh, she's holding steady, friend. My buddy Frankie Yale's running things there now. Swell guy. Gave me my first job. Frankie Yale, huh? The same Frankie Yale that just showed up in Chicago? You shitting me. Frankie's in Chicago? Well, his name was definitely Frankie. Drove him myself. Italian guy, coming in from New York, right? Carries a box of god-awful cigars with his face blasted on him. Don't tell me there's more than one of these guys. That's Frankie. You know where he's staying? Nah, he didn't say. But I can find him for you. If you help me with something. What do you need? There's a gang that's been messing with my cab. Slashing my tires, stealing stuff. They're trying to rattle me. I'd appreciate it if you took care of them. Sure. What's in it for me? Apart from Frankie Yale, how about I give you a line on a few crates of booze? That ought to keep you going for a while. All right. You got a deal. Thanks, Mr. Capone. Say, looks like we're almost there. It's been a pleasure. Good luck to you. Likewise. Alrighty, Sal drops Alphonse off on the street. Before long, every house on this street will know the name Capone. Now, I didn't like the intro that much. But the game itself looks much better once you are in this game. And for completion's sake, we're just Welcome going to, to show Chicago. also the tutorial there. With a few look arounds, stuff like that. There we have now the in-game menu where we can free roam around the city. We also have a nice map down here. Um, and, well, we need to go to this place there. Chicago and I've started it now three place. times since it was different. In Very interesting. No idea why that's the, the case. Fight. Fortunately, I know right where you can find one. Alright. Alright, we need to enter this building here. There's Macduff's bar. Let's enter this one. This joint belongs to Ronnie O'Neill. He calls himself the boss of the Meat Packers gang. His thugs aren't going to know what hit them. You got it. Okay, so let's just see what's going on here. We need to ambush them. That means that I can start my attack once I start the ambush. I think there is one of the guards, so let's start the ambush right away. In and thus we have opened up the combat. combat is turn -based. The queue of characters waiting to take their turn is above. And the turn order is decided by a character's initiative stat. If enemies are allied with a boss, 
That boss is also shown under their portrait. Alrighty, so there we got the first one, a meat packer guard. And since we're that close, we might actually give him a fister. In combat, you can move or choose an so that's just how all of these games basically work. And let's give him a nice fist there. The good thing with the fist is when you're in melee, um, it doesn't miss. Bullets do miss all the time. Right, so we have the move point and we have the action point. And since we can use it once again. Oh, that is very close, but he did not die, unfortunately. There he missed. That was the attack there from afar. This guy will... Hit me though, yeah. Oh, two times there as well. That means that he is not using his move point there. So let's get rid of him. And off it goes. <laughs> He's dropping quite nice. Now we just have to go with this guy here. He's hitting quite often, by the way. So this is not looking so good for us then. Let's see if we can cover here. So this is looking like a good cover there. Just by the wall. Where is this guy? He's over there, so we might try to hit him. We have a 58% chance of hitting him. We could also go to this pillar there. Let's go over there with our second action point. Moving in. Alright, he's moving now. Oh, he's moving to a no-cover area. That means we can attack him now, and we might go with the fist this time. We also have the hunker down, so we can take cover somewhere and overwatch. We're out of ammo. You need to reload. We don't need to do that yet. Let's give him the fist. Gotcha. Oh, what? He missed. And why did I lose now two points there? Now look at that. Um, let's take the cover again. Gotcha. And then we are just going to shoot him. Nice hit. But this guy seems a bit stupid there. He's He doesn't care about cover at all. He's just moving in there. He just reloaded now. So that means that... Wait a second. We do have still a bit of ammo there. We have a lot of ammo. And another hit. And now we can take the fist. That is 70% chance. Now let's shoot him. 78. And there he's down. Right. It was only those two. Um, we also got some loot here now, a shotgun that is increasing our damage there, of course, close range, and the meat packers are when down. You win a racket, you have several options. Let's take this place over and make it ours. Yes, and we can take over this bar now, and we could also ransack them if it weren't for the first mission, um, or smash it up. If it's an opponent one, we could destroy his business this way, but th we're and going to take it over. And it's going to be a speakeasy, are the workhorse for your empire. They require alcohol to function. Can provide high earnings when supplied with alcohol. The gangsters may become alcoholics if left alone too long to speak easies. Alright. And the Sailor's Club is the name for this now building this here. Yours, and that's how it's done. You want something? Take it. You're gonna need some guards to keep your speakeasy safe. So open up the racket screen. Alrighty, so there we are now in the economy menu. Joint, starting with security. The information panel to the right shows your security's current state and what you'll get in the next upgrade. Select upgrade to go to the next Alright, so we do need to find a balance between all of these things here and security is our first one, level one. It cost me $2,600. Um, we have... Well, not that much, as far as I can see, but let's go for it. You can and there we are upgrading. It takes 25 days. Go ahead and do that now. Okay, let's rush it. Cost me another 1,300. We have still 3,600 left. Upgrading ambience improves your draw. Higher draw means more customers and more money. All right, and we should also upgrade the ambience here now to get more customers. Let's do this, and I guess let's also rush this one. I'm sure that's what I'm talking about. Looks great. Okay, that's it for now. So let's get out of here. That is our next mission. So this belongs now to us. As we can see, there's a band playing. And, yeah, we haven't gotten any guests so far, but I, I, I bet they're coming. Let's get out there. Gotcha. The gunfire attracted some of the local criminal talent, and they're looking for work. As your empire grows, you'll gain access to bigger and better hired guns, too. 
Alright, so there we got a few that are just standing in front of us now and they want something. I guess they want to be hired. Something. This one wants two dollar or two percent. Trades poverty. This is an immigrant, Maria Rodriguez, a gang leader. She's a gang leader and she wants to hire. And well, let's go for the big guy here. He doesn't want any money up front, but he wants to take 2% per month. Okay, so we took... We, yeah. Of my total earnings, got it. I'm all in for hardened gangsters. All right, there we still have someone else. Maria, hello. Gracias. That's basically already 4% of my income for the guards. They're quite expensive. Okay, to create a squad. Now we can create a squad there. Get yourself a squad. Just in time, mm. too. Your new speakeasy isn't going to last long without alcohol. It's the resource that makes your world go round. Just so happens Ronnie O'Neill's got a big guy close by. All right, so there we are, the gang. Zoom out to the world map to see where it is. Oh, we can also zoom out. So as we can see now here, there are places to sell, uh, to sell, or we can purchase them then and make our business larger. At the moment, we have 2006 as uh, 2,700, and I think we're going down. We have no alcohol at the moment, so that is our first priority because we have this establishment here, the Sailors Club, but no alcohol, so no customers, obviously. Let's get down there. There is something. There's a storeroom, a brewery. How convenient. And, oh, all right. They were ta uh, expecting us and yeah, we're going to start the, the, the combat right away, it seems. Mm, let's see, this one is almost down. Let's take cover nevertheless. Let's go over there, hiding a bit there and now we can shoot. Can we hit this guy here? 88%, I'm fine with that. Oh, this has a good chance of critical hit. All right. At least something there. This guy got a shotgun. Very good. Oh, we can hit both of them. <laughs> All right. Hugh Miller, I like you already. Don't you forget it. You're going to need more than a few guns to take out Ronnie and his guards. Luckily, the black market's got everything you need. Open the black market by selecting the shop icon at the top. Okay, the black market. It's time to get yourself some provisions. Check the sweep the shop. There we got the, sh the black market and we can purchase stuff. Um, he wants me to purchase some provisions that we need for, I guess, the days to come. Where is the provisions though? There is a silk padded vest that looks nice. I like to look fancy. This way I could do that, right? Now take over right. Ronnie's brewery to let him know his gotcha. boss. Well, let's get in there. Yeah. Do we want to attack this one? Oh, we want to attack. All right, are you sure to wish to attack the brewery? You Let's go in there. All right, another battle awaits. Am I alone? I am alone in this one. That can't be right. I can't take three guys by myself, can I? Gotcha. Let's hide for a second there, but I'm alone here. What is going on? And that's what I'm paying 2% of my income for, these guards. Assholes. Kill them. Alright, it's actually four? No, it's three of them. Alrighty, so there we are. Um, we do have our special ability that I like very much, but, you know, they're they're not too, cl uh, too close to together there. Let's get over there. We can hide there. We can then corner them, kind of like, oh, we can force them to go into this tiny area there. Oh, come on, he's got a shotgun. Hmm. Alright, it's our turn again. Can we do this now for all of them? Yes. This, uh, it's possible. Not a very high chance, though. Let's just try this one. Oh boy, you're standing right in front of him. <laughs> and there he hit us with the shotgun. But he was hit times there right of course this is a miss we are hidden this might actually work nope actually I think we have a chance here that's that and oh he's not going out by that that is a pity no he will hit us then again gotcha 
Ah, damn it, he's still alive now. Yeah. Alright, I did not know that with the fist you're getting out there. Out of your cover. Very, very unlucky. Why can he shoot two times and I can only um, have one action? Right, it's over for now. Um, I'm going to hide again. It's basically the only thing that I can do. And then I'm going to hit him with the weapon. Okay, very good. At least the shotgun is dead. But it was totally unnecessary. That damage. Alright, he... Yeah. I don't know what, what you're trying to do here. Dying. Alright, so it's this one. We still have one more shot. Alphonse Capone. Oh, he hit us through the barrels. Alright, that should be it for him. 78% chance. Yep. Guess we have to take it. And actually, we took the three guys now. I'm surprised by that. No loot, but we can take the brewery over. And it's going to be a brewery for us. Engine repair workshop. That's fine. It's a nice cover, I guess. First my bar, and then my brewery? Oh, and one of the bosses doesn't like that. This is pointless. When you decide that you want to talk face to face like a man, you know where to find me. Oh, I know where to find you. See you real soon. Okay, Ronnie O'Neill has summoned you for a sit down. Gotcha. So this belongs to us now. I'm a bit I'm damaged though, or hurt. Let's have a look at the black market. Can I purchase something that heals me? Nope. Unfortunately, there's nothing. Going outside. I have a feeling that this might be bad because I'm pretty low on health right now. But well, let's get outside. Oh, I'm recovering right now. Sit downs with another boss is serious business. They usually take place in a boss's racket, but they can take place in safe houses too. Zoom out to the world map to find Ronnie's safe house. Okay, so now we're going to the real world map where we have the whole game in front of us. And as we can see, we are in this, or in Fulton Market, where we do have a brewery and a saloon, more or less. And there are the other districts. And of course, our goal would be to take them over um, and expand our businesses there. So, what do we need? We need to find this guy. And as we zoom in on one of these districts there, we can see that there is also a lot of stuff going on within a district. So, so far we have unlocked these buildings there. For example, we got three like little dungeons, I guess. So these buildings here, we can enter them and shoot our way through. We also have the difficulty there. We also have some places here that we can purchase and expand our empire. And well, we have the safe house. I like how seamless that whole thing is. And we need to go there to our safe house. And yeah, my useless gang should follow me. Let's get into the safe house and there we begin our sit down with the boss. You've been a thorn in my side since you got here, Capone. Oh, buddy, you ain't seen buddy, nothing. Buddy, you ain't seen nothing yet. You should go back to whatever hole you crawled out of back in New York. There ain't no room for you in Chicago. Maybe I'm missing something, but who made you king of fucking Chicago? I've been doing this a long time. I know how to handle this city. And I'm telling you, there's no room for someone like you. I already took your rackets, O'Neill. I ain't about to stop. If you got a problem with that, why don't we settle it right now? I don't need any more enemies in this town. I'm trying to be reasonable. Just give me my rackets back, huh? Then we can put this whole mess behind us. You must be dreaming if you think I'm giving you anything but a bullet, O'Neill. You don't want to go to war with me, Capone. Now I'm trying to be real nice here. You give me back my rackets, and I don't burn down your fucking empire. How about it? You got wax in your ears? I said I ain't interested. Let's get this over with. That's it. I'm done wasting my time with you. Guards, take care of Mr. Capone here. I don't want no witnesses. It's your funeral, Ronnie. 
All right, so there we start the combat. Now, I wonder why they take these really bad 3D characters. Just give me some 2D characters that look nice. I think this would be better overall. All right, it's... um No, we are not alone anymore, at least. That's a good thing, right? Um, We got Ronnie O'Neill. I guess he's one of my guys. Is he not? No, that's the boss, actually. He's... I'm cornered. All right, my guards are coming in from here, though. Right, so we might be doing something. Do I have a specialty? Or don't. All right, it's my turn anyway. I can't do anything. Um, let's just see. We got only one guy here. And this one. Oh, very bad situation overall, I guess. I cannot switch to the other ones there at the moment. So I cannot play as them. I need to play as myself, Alphonse Kilpone. But I cannot get out of here. Um, we might... This guy will take heavy damage if we do the Rain of Fire. Just hitting him will do nicely too. Hunker down temporarily increases the defense bonus of cover and reduces your chance to be critically hit. Let's do this. Let's hunker down and try our best. Oh, he hit us with the, the fist. It was absolutely not necessary to be so brutal. And we have the shotgun. Oh, yep. That is doing some real nice damage. And then we have Maria, and she's got the burst fire, multiple bullets. Alrighty. Oh, she might have taken him out the first turn already. Moving. Alright, yeah, they're really focusing on me. I, I really need to get out of here. Plop! Whoa, 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 wait a second. I do have my Reign of Fire. Really powerful. Oh, yeah, that's doing some nice damage. And he missed me. So now we can continue. Let's get with my... Who are playing right now? Oh, Q Miller. I'm still firing. I might get over there. Oh boy. Stop shooting. Nope, we cannot hit those guys there. Let's get over there. I'm losing both of my movement points though. By going over there. Alright, I think I'm stuck in a loop. I can't stop shooting. Stu sh shooting is so fun. Let's just see. Can I get rid of this guy here now? No, I can't. Uh, I'm totally in the open here. Can I? Yes, I can flee the scene. Let's do this. Right. Let's get to my people. Way too exposed. Alright, and this guy is now... Oh, he can he can walk a long distance there. Alright, it's Hugh again. Um, we have the shotgun available. I might just move over there, but I'm losing both of my points again. Yep, if I move over there, both points, there, that's fine. Moving over here, I only lose one point. Let's right do on. this. Then I should still be able to shoot. There I am. 30... Eh, that's not much. I can hit this guy here. Nice damage. It's Maria. And Maria... Uh, we're still really, really exposed here. Mm, unfortunately. Yeah. Let's move Bye. here. Just around the corner. I still have a, a chance to shoot. This guy here. 17% chance I'm around the corner. Let's Bally. take the fists. Oh, very good. In his face. That's the boss, by the way, so it's a bit harder. Take him down. Oh, that's a shotgun. That hurts a lot. He's got a normal weapon, but we need to focus the shotgun guy. Alright, it's my turn. I'm going to hide here. This is one action point. Alright. And then we just will shoot him there. He's not going down because of that though. So I'm going to move in with another one. Oh, two hits there. Yeah. Hugh Miller, you're going out. He's going to take a hit, but that's fine. And we have the shotgun and take this guy out with the shotgun. That's important. This one just got a pistol. That's not hard. And here we got the boss and we might have the burst of fire. 
Oh, he's standing in front of you. Okay, Alphonse Capone taking damage. My Maria um, hair trigger temper has activated. What? Sixty-three percent chance. I'll take that. And very good. This guy's out too. Um, Alphonse, you take cover now. Mm, yeah, here, far away from anyone, because my two guys will be able to take care of him. Oh, oh, look at that. Far away he is now. Right. All right then. What? She's still firing. Why are you doing this? I did not command that. Alright, and once again she doesn't want to stop. We still have two out of five ammunition there. What the? What is going on with her? She also has this trigger problem. Like Alphonse. Kill her. Alright, he's leaving his cover there in a very bad spot. But I guess he just saw that it's over for him anyway. And the fist from behind or the weapon. Now we need to reload first. So let's rather of go course. with the fist. Oh, Maria, you missed again. Very bad. At least that's something. Uh, we can shoot a second time. Ah, it's missed again. Oh, this is a bit tough there. Yeah, he's focusing me. At least that's a bit smart there. Because if I go down, it's over for him. But he will be gone now too. Ronnie O'Neill. Greet the fishes. Okay, now we have the execution. Let's execute the guy. Of course, I'm not doing it myself. But rather my Hugh Miller. And that's it. Our first boss is down. We do get a doctor's bag. We'll definitely need that one. And also a new shotgun. Uncommon type with a bit of damage there. Let's take the loot. And we have thus eliminated a faction and can take over his empire there as well. And perhaps we'll continue. Stay tuned.